Hello, this is Mrs. Brown, and we're going to look at the volume of a pyramid. So starting out, a volume of a pyramid is very similar to a prism, except that it's one third times the area of the base times the height. Again, we have the area of the base just like we did with a prism, which is the big B, um, and times the height, but this time you're taking one third. And the reason is, is remember, a prism goes straight up, whereas the pyramid goes up to a point, okay? Um, one of the things that we wanna point out is that the height is from the very center, the vertex where the um, faces kind of come together, all the way straight down to the base. It's not along the face of the, of the pyramid, it's internal. Um, and that's one of the common mistakes that people make. We call this the slant height kind of that goes along here. That's not what we're talking about. We're, the height we're talking about for volume is going straight down at a perpendicular angle to the base and it's like internal. It's not along the outside of it, okay? So let's take a look at some problems. All right. So this first one, the base shape is a triangle. And since it's just a triangle, the area of the base is gonna be one half base times height. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit confusing because we're using the word base in different situations. So we're using base to represent this shape, the one that it's sitting on, that's one kind of base. And then when we're looking at just that triangle, because we have just that triangle, the base is also can be used to describe just this side, the, this, the side that the triangle is sitting on. Um, and so this is the shape that we kind of have on the bottom of this pyramid. So we're gonna start by finding the area of this shape. And you guys at this point are really good at finding the area of a triangle. So one half base times height. So one half times four times three. So half of four is two times three is six, okay? So the area of the base is six. Now I'm gonna use my volume formula. So volume equals one third times the area of the base times the height. So volume equals one third times six, which is the volume of, or the area of the base times the height, which is five. And one third of six is two times five is 10. So the volume of this pyramid is 10, okay? Units cubed, because I didn't give it units, okay? So let's take a look at this one. We're going through the same kind of process. Um, this time, you notice the shape on the bottom is a rectangle. Um, so I'm going to find the area of the rectangle, which is just um, base times height. Again, when we're talking about a rectangle, this is the base and this is the height. We're also referring to this whole shape that the pyramid sits on as a base. So it can get kind of confusing because we're using base in more than one um, instance. So make sure that you're paying attention to which base we're talking about. Okay, so it's just six times two, which is 12. So the area of my rectangle is 12. That's the area of the base, so big B. So that when I use my formula, Volume equals one third times the area of the base times the height. So volume equals one third times 12 and times the height is four. So one third of 12 is the same as 12 divided by three, which is four and four times four is 16. So this is 16 units cubed for my volume, okay? So again, taking the steps, finding the area of the base, what it's sitting on, and then multiplying it by the height and taking one third. Okay. All right, one of the other problems types that you're gonna look at is finding the missing height. So you're given the volume, you're given some of the dimensions, but you're missing the height of your pyramid. And that's what you're gonna be looking for. So let's start with the rectangular pyramid because it's a little bit easier. Remember that my volume formula is one third the area of the base times the height. If I have a rectangular pyramid, remember that first word describes the shape of the base. Well, how do we find the shape of the base or the area of the base of a rectangle? Well, it's little b times h. 
times that h. Okay, So length times width, you can think of it if you feel a little bit better. But basically, the area of a rectangle is base times height or length times width. So now I substitute in what I know. I know my volume is 60 because that's what it tells me right here. I know that my base is 9 times 4, and I don't know my height. And now I'm going to solve this equation. The nice thing about a formula is it's telling you what to do. You substitute in the numbers, and then you solve the equation, and you can find your missing number. Um, so 9 times 4 is 36, and if I take 1 third of 36, that is going to give me 12. So I get 60 equals 12 times mystery number. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I divide by 12 to get h by itself, and I end up with a height of 5. So again, if I use my formula, I substitute in the stuff that I know, I can go through and find the missing height by following what the formula is telling me to do. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. This one is a triangular pyramid, which means the base is a triangle. Remember that the area of a triangle is one half base times height, little b and not big B. So let's take our volume formula. I've got one third times big B, so the area of the base times height. I'm going to replace big B with how to find the area of a triangle since my base is triangle. Okay, and now I'm going to substitute in what I know. I know the volume is 64. I know that my base is 6 and my height is 8 of the base. Okay, times the height of the pyramid. Okay, half of 6 is 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, so I'm left with 1 third times 24 times h equals 64. One third of 24 is the same as 24 divided by 3, which is 8. So when I divide this, the height of my pyramid is 64 divided by 8, or 8. Okay, so again, taking it step by step, you've got to figure out what kind of shape you have, whether it's a triangle or a rectangle. You replace the big B, because that means the area of the base, with what you need to. So for a triangle, it would be one-half base times height. For a rectangle, it would just be base times height or length times width, whichever you're more comfortable with. Substitute in what it tells you, and then just solve for your missing value. Okay? I hope this helps, and have a fabulous day.